This is Henry from SoCal Solar Panel Cleaning along here with uh, Rick. What's going on, guys? And we have our partner over here, Mark, <laughs> from AM Pressure Washing. What he is doing is he is changing out skid. It's going to be upgrading our skid. So he's going to take this out of the van. We have a couple of brackets that he made for our DI tanks. You want to explain to them exactly what you're going to be doing there, Mark? And All right. Rick and Henry, back uh, right around COVID, started their solar panel business up. So it's been a year, 16 months or so. So when the first skid we built, we were doing a different type of system to where you could fill it from the rear end. So then Henry wanted to change it up to fill it with his DI tank. So we did a little bit of different uh, plumbing on it. I'm going 2.0 now. I'm about to redo all this. We don't have no problem losing this uh, prime. The bypass will be run to the tank. I'm going to weld two DI tank brackets to his tank support brackets. No more straps. Everything will just slide in, clamp in place. You'll, I'll tie in both tanks to run into the tank, uh, uh, can join them. So that'll be done. So you can check it out now, and then we'll do another video when we're done. You can see the 2.0. There you go. So this is it right now, guys. Uh, basically, he's going to take this out of the van. Uh, and if you guys want uh, Mark to do a uh, skid for you, same setup and what have you, he does that, okay? And he's up here in uh, Lake Elsinore. Here is his information. You guys want to give him a call. Go ahead and give him a call and talk to him, and he'll be more than happy to help you out. Uh, with that being said, we're going to go ahead and cut this video off, show you the finished product when we're done with it, and uh, we'll see you guys in a bit. We have it all assembled. Everything is inside. We're all set, ready to go. This has been an adventure. Went ahead and made the adjustment. Put in a pressure uh, gauge for us uh, for our Viper pump. So when we make this adjustment, we can see what's going on. Uh, with that, went ahead, changed the oil on the Viper pump and the engine itself. Made the adjustment here. This is going up. Uh, also, uh, put another piece right here on top uh, for 
of the two DI tanks and you'll see us right now we're gonna go ahead and put the DI tanks hook that up and then we're all set All right, now we uh, got it all connected and we're running through two tanks. Uh, so we have the input right here coming in. This is coming in now. We have the shutoff valve here. Also, this is coming into this first tank and then basically going to the second tank here and then going out right here. We have this T valve here for our water fed pole so we don't have to disconnect anything. Basically, we are going to uh, connect that uh, piece there to our water fed. Turn the red handle, and we got water fed coming through. We don't have to go through the high pressure, and uh, pretty good. It's all set up. Uh, Mark sell or Mark rents these tanks out. So if you guys are in need of these tanks, give him a call. He is a distributor for them, and uh, he can get you that fairly easy. All right, this is the complete setup, and uh, we're pretty much finished with this video, guys. Thank you guys for watching. We really appreciate uh, you guys uh, chiming in and letting us know um, what this is all done. Our new build is done here, and we're finished up. We have our wand right here. We have this all tied in, and... We have our new pressure gauge here. It tells us how much pressure we're running out of here. The Viper pump all set up, ready to go uh, with the uh, Honda engine and one of the best reels and hose out on the market. You can get from AM pressure washing here in Lake Elsinore. Here is the phone number. Give Mark a call. Talk to Mark and let him know that Henry and Rick sent you from YouTube, and uh, we'll see you guys on the next video. See ya. Peace.